Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then, quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way, over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Tale, written during the time of the great Elod revolt, you would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So... When her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um... Got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... Of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later. Near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. 
I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? Uh, snakes. You wrap snakes around the wound to stop the bleeding. Oh, a most ingenious treatment. Wouldn't you say, Timoxenos? I, um, have to... There's something... I must be going. We treat the sick, eagle bearer. And we respect the privacy of those we've treated. Now please leave. Your presence can only cause harm. Tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved. He knew the penalty for speaking with the eagle bearer about her. Chrysis was clear. You didn't have to kill him. But we did. And now we'll kill you. His notes are well guarded. Why? The mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. Are you lost, me? What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then, you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Uh, out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. 
Hippocrates would never put Drachmi before a patient's life. But here, since you're so determined to be a mercenary, I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Hippocrates, how's the patient? I couldn't remember the proper steps for treatment, and you were gone so long. Your notes were destroyed in a fire. This Mincius brought me here to help. I went to see the priests first. I had to find out about my mother. A worthy pursuit, though it cost this man his life. It cost a life, and me a fortune. You wouldn't believe how much I had to pay this healer to come with me. Is this true? You said you wouldn't tell Hippocrates. No, I didn't. But I'd say now is a good time to start working for that pay. The payment we should seek is the preservation of life. A good doctor puts the needs of his patients first. I have learned a lesson today. I will take some time and write down what I remember of your nose, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, I'm sorry the patient died. But I still need to know what happened to my mother. Come with me. We should talk. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I know something that may help you find her. I swore I would never tell anyone about Dolops and his past, but I owe this to your mother. Who's Dolops? He was a priest who dedicated his life to helping orphans. It's possible he remembers that night long ago. Maybe he would know something about your mother and her child. I'll go see this man. Thank you, Hippocrates. That's the man Hippocrates mentioned. But he's hiding. Go away! Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And 
We need some information. Tell him... Someone tried to kill me. Kill you? He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm a Mystios. If I stop this killer, will you speak with me? I will. Tell me what happened. I was on my way home when a man dressed in black attacked me. I ran as fast as I could. Once I reached safety, I thought I heard wolves. Maybe they scared him away. Are you hurt? No. Thank Ira. Why would someone attack you? My neighbor thinks I'm bad luck. He may be right. There is a difference between insulting someone and attacking them. What else? I'm behind on my rent. I think my landlord wants to get rid of me and find a new tenant. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then... We're talking about your past. This armor is broken, but it was valuable. If it belonged to the attacker, he's either wealthy or very lucky. Did you see someone attack Dolops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. This black cloth is fine enough for a king. Would do well as a mask, too. This knife has seen better days, like something a poor farmer would use. I'm looking for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Mystios! Are you scared? I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill... It was your landlord. Of course. He wants me out of the way. I'll take care of him. Be careful. He's dangerous.
thesis. Your landlord is dead. He was a lot more than that, though. He was one of those people, wasn't he? I can't. Please, take this. You might find it useful. You wanted to know something. Hippocrates said you used to work with orphans. I did, but Chrysis drove me away. So she did. Where did you last see her? In the woods near the sanctuary of Asclepios. But that was many years ago. Where do you think Chrysis is now? I can't be sure. But she used to pray at the altar of Apollo Maleatas. That's where she decided which children to train and which to let die. How did you come to work with Chrysis? I didn't have a choice. She's my mother. Chrysis kept you a secret? My birth brought shame to her. I could never redeem that. What was Chrysis doing that was so terrible? She would take the children and teach them terrible things. Turn them into spies and even soldiers. I couldn't take it anymore and left. At a secret meeting in Delphi, I overheard Chrysis mention a great warrior. Could these children have been part of her plan? So she did see the Oracle. Oh, yes. Chrysis spoke of building an army with a champion at its head. It must have been for her associates. The masked ones. You've done your duty to Ira. I'll deal with Chrysis. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. So Chrysis is the key to finding my mother. I must find... There's the altar of Apollo Maliatas. There's the statue of Apollo and the altar. Received. A warning. Must be getting close. Cultists will die here!
seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake! I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You speak of family, yet you send cult puppets to silence your own son. They're dead, by the way. Dolop ceased being my son when he turned his back on the gods. You mean turned his back on you? The baby was destined to be mine. He was too stupid to understand that. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But she was. Oh, how your mother wept when that little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of her, placed her on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare her life, and they listened. What did you do with my sister? I saved her life by teaching her to suffer, to know pain so well that she would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now she will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You... tortured her? She was just a baby! I taught her to survive! This world is cruel! It demands strength or death! So I gave her strength! Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth! The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children! I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused! <laughs> this world is pain! I gave the most strength to cope! Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your sister. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Hrisis' reign of terror must end. If what Hrisis said was true, Mirini believes my sister died long ago. I can't let... Calm down. Tell me what happened. Raiders in the forest. My husband, he tried to fight them off. Did you say the forest? I thought the forests of Argos are safe. They stole our food, our horse. They wanted to take me. All I can hear is their awful laughing. Such a horrible noise. Laughing? And a whole group ambushed you for one horse? Yes. If your husband is facing the bandits alone, you won't have long to live. Please! I have a child! You have to help us! I will find your husband and the bandits.
after you save that child, I knew. Can't help but do the right thing, can you? Chrysis? You killed this man just to set a trap? It's an honor to give your life to Ira's greatest priestess. He died willingly. With him gone, I have room for one more on my council. It isn't too late to join us. You've lost your mind, Chrysis. This is madness! A world where a killer like you is held up as a hero. That is madness. This is the world you helped to make, and I will unmake it. Very well. If you wish to be an agent of chaos, if you wish to be a killer, then kill, child! You could have joined me, messenger. We Go! could have ruled the world together. Uh, Die for me, my child. Uh, uh, you fucking snake! <laughs> I am not your child. I will find my mother, and we will be together again. I will make this right. This is for my mother and every family you destroyed. <laughs> 